Look at this. This man here building stands. Everything in here built. Not bought. Well, the material bought. <laughs> Always back at Tony's shop. He over here building stuff. Yeah. Look at it. Oh, I like this. Yeah. This man won't play. Yeah. But yeah, I got you something else. This gun was in the trash from someone else. I replaced this, I replaced this, I replaced this, I replaced the handle. Well, not the whole hand, I replaced the little clips. The cap I used from a W200, say W200, and it works just fine. To me, every single gun's worth saving. Okay, so this is W400. This is a W200. So this is one of the ones I salvaged. You can take off this clip, put it here. You can take this part, put it here. See the whole thing's gone. You can take this trigger, put it here. So everything switches, the cap, the needle, everything. Like, you see, all this salvageable. Only thing is, this was still up here, so you're good for that. But even if you do take off this, you can pretty much make it like a 43 adapter. And like I said, this came off of this, this came off of this, needle and all. And the pen, the key thing is to getting this off without breaking it is, you have to screw this in all the way before you take this off. So this is like a 14 millimeter, but you gotta be real careful. You gotta put it on all the way because if you have it halfway loose, it won't come off correctly. You'll just know might cut it. You see how I kind of like nicked it a couple of times? but you can get it off so this whole thing comes out of here you put it in here and boom now you got a working w400 same thing you can do with the lphs same thing i did with the lph 200 i got this body for like 40 50 bucks like with everything on it because it's a siphon feed and not many people use siphon feeds in the u.s i mean unless you use like a pressure feed setup siphon feed setup but yeah, so this is one thing you can use these bodies for. And so you see this is the LPH 200. This is the another LPH I say 400. And see the 200. And this is the pressure feed tip. That's why it looks very different. It's a 1.2 tip, but it has a lot different of a tip than your average tulip tip. So, and it works great. It's one of my favorite atomization guns. Lays it down real nice. Use a lot less material. I love it. So yeah. So this is part of my Frankenstein. So this throwaway was turning into this. This I wanna say I got for like, like I said, 40 bucks. This one, I wanna say I got for like 20 bucks. 30 bucks, you'd be surprised. If you put your bids where like you go to um, like international, you'll see like both of these are from Japan, 100% both from Japan. So yeah, literally. I don't know what to do with these frames. I never throw them away. So one day if I can give them to somebody, donate them or practice anything or make some art with it, I don't know. But yeah, I don't wanna throw it away. I feel like it's disrespectful. Okay, so good morning, everybody. You know, shipping guns off to one of my friends. You know, he don't know about this one, but yeah, he knows about this one. So 
Yeah, this is the wider pour air L if you're curious. I might need to wrap this more because I just realized I got everything but that. Oh well no, I got it just one time. See? Like <laughs> So yeah, just shipping guns to him. He like really, really wanted it, so he's gonna get the wider four L. I mean I like it, I love it, but I don't use it enough and I got like 12, 13 LPHs, like no exaggeration. Like no exaggeration, I got like, I think like literally 16. Me and him were talking about it. Like I have a whole gun case of LPHs. So this, I'm not gonna be hurt. You know, these, there's there's new ones, these coming out all the time. So I could always get another one. So he really wanted it. It's, you know, not perfect. I want to say I nicked the cap somewhere, but, you know, I was just cleaning. I mean, I'm not perfect. I'm not going to sit here at, like, I'm the best. But other than that, the frame's all good, everything. I think I just nicked it. But that was like I was, <laughs> I ran into the car. It was hilarious if you saw it. But anyway, about to ship these. I'm going to put more bubble stuff in here. So, yeah, got a surprise for them. And this one, he's a big hot water fan. So shout out to Evan. Evan's the dopest. Yeah, so I, I thought it'd be cool to use an hot water box. Because uh, I lost original boxes. Not gonna sit here and say I keep everything. So you'll be leaving me soon. So yeah, about to be on my way to the post office. I mean, UPS. I'm old, same thing. But yeah, Saturday, just, you know, got in the truck. About to drop this off to him. Well, UPS, you know, he don't know about the other gun. So the way I look at it is I don't need it. Um, I don't like doing, I like doing little things, little gestures. So by the time he gets it, then I'm post a video. So he watches my videos, so I can't, I can't. Just <laughs> having fun with this, you know, just being nice. I like doing nice things. You know, being nice doesn't cost you any. Well, it costs you shipping, but you know, I was about to say free, but eh, that doesn't like it's free. But anyway, I hope y'all having a great day. You know, Saturday. Let me go ahead and start driving. I don't text and drive, I don't video and drive. I try not to. I did a couple times. Not a great idea. You know, safety's number one in my book. So. See y'all soon.